Welcome everybody once again to uh, yet another call. Uh, today, uh, I have uh, the honor of having Alice. Uh, Alice is the Chief Financial Officer at Yellowcard. Uh, most of us already know Yellowcard um, on the continent. Yeah, so hi, Alice. Hi, David. Good to be here and, and um, great to, to have your listeners um, yeah, um, hear a little about Yellow Card. All right, great. Yeah, thanks for joining us, Alice. Uh, maybe um, before we just, you know, get into the conversation, which is obviously exciting, you guys just uh, recently announced um, a rebrand and uh, you guys are already expanding quite fast across the continent. Um, maybe just before we get into some of uh, those discussions, you, maybe you can start and introduce yourself and tell us who you are, what you do at Yellowcard, and possibly also how you got into the crypto space. <laughs> sure, sure. My name is Alice Tomo, uh, born and raised in Cameroon. Um, so I'm Cameroonian by heart. I, uh, I had a very long career in finance, um, kind of globally across, you know, the US, Europe, and finally moved to the continent in 2016. Um, and I pivoted into the startup space um, about two years ago. I, I, I left um, professional services for, for a payments company first, and then I finally joined Yellow Card um, about a little shy of two months ago. So yeah, super excited. And, and uh, you know, on the continent, you asked how I got into crypto, working on the continent, especially in the payment space and just in my prior life in professional services. I just I just saw that the the potential for crypto on the internet is unprecedented. Um, we have the ability to essentially leapfrog and provide everyone on the continent with uh, essentially starting from scratch we can provide a good, reliable financial infrastructure for for individuals. And I thought crypto is probably the best solution right now for us. So I was super excited to for uh, the opportunity to join Yellow Card, which I think is um, the number one. Um, in this fixed continent. Yeah, definitely. I mean, um, I think your recent raise proves that, that uh, Yellow Card truly is a brand um, that is, uh, you know, uh, that I think we need to take notice of in 2022 and beyond. And, and, and maybe, Alice, at this point, I would like to ask, you know, uh, do you mind giving us some updates on, you know, your 2022 expansion plans, how they are looking at you know, beyond the raise, maybe also talk a little bit about, you know, your recent raise as well. Yeah, the raise is not as recent as we would like to think anymore, uh, given just how the velocity at which companies are on, on the continent, then globally, to be honest, are raising. Companies used to raise, you know, within 18 months. Now it's less than a year, right, between series. So, so as last year in August, we closed our Series A, $15 million, which was amazing because that essentially gave us enough fuel to, to kind of execute on our strategy to continue to be on every single continent, every, every single country, apologies, on the continent. Um, so we, we started on the continent in 2019 um, in Nigeria, and now we're in 16 countries and counting, and we are actively working on, um, yeah, continuing to, to, to execute on the geographical expansion plan. But we're also thinking how we can continue to make our product uh, easy to use and what complementary products we can offer our users, right, to solve their problems. So, um, yes, keep, keep your, your ears on the ground um, for a bunch of some new exciting products this year. We have um, some pretty exciting stuff, exci exciting stuff coming. Yeah. All right, great. Uh, so far, how many countries is Zero Card in, in Africa? 16, 16 countries, um, and we're yeah we're continuing to 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 launch in new countries as we speak. Yeah, we have boots on the ground in a few others, and hopefully we we'll unlock very soon. All right, great. Um, now again, now diving into you know twenty twenty two looks like it's going to be a big year for Yellow Card. Obviously, uh, you guys just recently announced a rebrand. Uh, do you mind letting mm -hmm. us know how that came about and what informed uh, the rebrand? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I think for us, um, the rebrand was just an opportunity for us, especially on the back of the Series A. Brand was essentially an opportunity for us to 
to talk to our users, talk to our partners, understand how we're being perceived, um, realign ourselves to our mission. Again, is like financial freedom for every single person on the continent. And we just realized that it was a little bit dated. Um, so our design team got, got going, design obviously with other teams. This was a rebrand that was done fully in-house, right? Uh, which, which speaks to really the talent on the continent and then that yellow card, obviously. Um, yeah, and, and, and the team um, just uh, went out and, and, and based on the feedback we received, we came up with this new logo. Um, we, the, the person who drove our, our rebrand, Sarah, Sarah, who's now director of design, she, she, wrote, she wrote a really, really good blog post. So everyone should check out her blog post on the thinking design um, part that I blog. Um, I think it's the most recent blog post from Sarah Patterson just read up and, and kind of see the in, inside scoop, I would say, for those of us who are non-design people. But I think for me, uh, what it means, right, for someone who's not, you know, in the nitty gritty of design, what it means is we just want to perceive, we want to be perceived as approachable, flexible, fun, right, and reliable, most importantly, right? And I think the new palettes um, and, and, and the way in which essentially our logo is displayed kind of speaks to that. Um, and yeah, and it's, it's pretty exciting for us to, to kind of also have an official relaunch to kind of reaffirm to all our users and our partners that we're here to stay and we are very intentional about um, pursuing our mission. And, and yeah, and, and, and it's kind of like a refresh and a reload i would say yeah all right great i mean i mean with a new visual identity does that change the vision and mission of the company as well not at all not at all no i think if anything it's for us to just re-emphasize on it um we're still in uh i would say ruthless pursuit of our mission um and that hasn't changed at all if anything this this is reaffirming it for, for, for us and to our users. I know it's still early uh, with, the, with the new uh, visual look. Uh, how do you intend to roll that out and how do you intend to communicate this clearly to your, to your customers? Well, this is definitely one avenue ready, right? So uh, our team, our media team are, 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 are um, busy making sure that we uh, let it out through the media outlets. Obviously, I'm speaking with you now. Um, and and um, we will update, I, I believe the app should be updated already. So we're gonna work through just every aspect where we interact with our users, let them see who we are, the new the new brand and, and all of that kind of stuff. Our website is already updated. We are, you know, open and, and, and need to discuss with various media outlets, what we're thinking around it, we really did it. And uh, yeah, and that's, that's pretty much it. All right, uh, maybe at this juncture, do you mind letting us know, for example, how users can use yellow card? Uh, where is it accessible? Um, yeah, at, you, you know, as just uh, mm -hmm. and and as sort of as you still let us know about uh, the rebrand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. So, so obviously, for those who are not um, very familiar with the card, we are a crypto exchange operating exclusively on the continent, right? We buy and sell. Um, Bitcoin, USDT, um, and Ethereum, so three cryptocurrencies currently. Um, actually, our most popular uh, crypto is the USDT, so it's essentially pegged to the US dollar. That just speaks to, to kind of our users seeking stability and, and predictability and, and in, in, their, in, their, in their wealth. So we are available in 16 countries, including Kenya. So you can download our app by going to yellowcard.io. We, we, we have very, very strict um, security measures just by nature, the nature of the, the industry in which we operate. So we take things like, you know, KYC and risk management quite seriously. Um, if you currently reside or spend in any of the where we operate, um, we would require you to upload kind of your identification, right? And then you can be up and running essentially in two minutes. Yeah. So you can go to the app store, go to our website, yellowcard.io and download the app and you can buy um, and sell Bitcoin, Ethereum or USDT today through us. All right. Awesome. Thank you for that. Um, so, so, so what's the website again, just uh, for our listeners? Yeah, yellowcard.io. Yellowcard.io. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, now, 
maybe uh, at this juncture, I would like to ask, um, 2022 is almost midway. You know, there's a lot happening, even, you know, economy-wise. Um, where do you see Yellow Card this year? For example, how many countries do you see Yellow Card being in um, your, 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 your vision for expansion across the continent and possibly 2022 and beyond? Yeah, sure. No, absolutely. So for us right now, we are extremely focused on continuing to graphically. Obviously, given the nature of the industry in which we operate, um, we have to thread very carefully. We have to, to the extent that some regulators are open um, to crypto. We, we engage them. Some have boxes, right? So we want to make sure that in every country where we we get into, we navigate the regulatory landscape um, effectively, right? Because we don't want to put ourselves or our users at risk. Um, so right now we are so uh, beyond a certain point, I guess that you start getting into the more local countries, right? So like I mentioned earlier, we, we have boots on the ground in um, quite a few countries where we are currently not operational, just having people engage locally, understand the market works. So um, as, as that unlocks, you would see us announce, you know, this country's live. We, we recently went live in Senegal about two weeks ago or so. So it's hard for me to predict what countries will go live just by nature of, 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 of the industry in which we operate in the regulatory landscape. I wish I could say it was all dependent on our products and, <laughs> and us just executing, right? But it's not, it's not always that easy. So, but I'm, I'm glad to say that we are actively working towards being on every single country on the continent. So that's kind of the plan for 2022. In addition to our geographical expansion, we're looking at the country, how can we solve some of the problems that our users have, right? Um, and, and, and we have quite a few products in the pipeline for this year, uh, a couple. So just, yeah, stay tuned um, for those. Those should, come in, those should be coming pretty soon. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah, we look forward to that, Alice. Um, yeah, once again, thank you for speaking to us and looking forward to the new visual identity of Yellow Cut. Perfect. Thank you so much, David. And thanks to your listeners. Mm-hmm.